Hi, my lovely people. Y'all, is the shade real? Is Jasmine over here throwing shade or what at Olivia? Y'all see, let's just get on into it, right? This is what's got me thinking that at some point, these two have gotten together behind scenes. And I believe that they have, you know, talked about it. They said they ain't going to tell each other's business. I do believe each one of them has a big old secret, like a huge one on each other. And I, even though Olivia keeps saying, don't say my name, I'm catching the shade. Don't do this. Don't do that. Jasmine is not only catching it, she's throwing it back, right? And Olivia is out here looking like the punk that she is because she's dropping absolutely nothing except for talking about people that talk about her and other shady moments and things like that. But Jasmine, honey, is Jasmine out here and need an umbrella hat? <laughs> hey, Jasmine is out here putting these wigs on, baby. Jasmine is out here doing her sponsorships. She's out here making shorts. Baby, I'm laughing at every short that she dropped. She's saying her mot her haters are her motivators. The names and titles of Jasmine video alone lets me know that there is shade being thrown here, baby. One of the most shadiest videos that I've seen Jasmine drop yet, though, was the video where she says, getting back to myself, uh, I got priorities. And, you know, you look at the thumbnails when she was showing her with her kids and things like that. Baby, that is major shade that she's throwing at Olivia. I know y'all like, Storm, where do you get that at? Because every time she's making a video and says her kids, right, she says she's got priorities to handle. We know right now Olivia doesn't have her children, so there is no priority of a child that she has to do, right? So Jasmine's showing everything she can do with her kids and thinks it's going to get under Olivia's skin. But what we have to also realize is Jasmine, you doing things with your kids is not getting under nobody's skin. Maybe Olivia because she doesn't have hers. But us out here in the real world, we're looking at you and we're like, Oh, you trying to perpetrate a fraud because that's my thing. Ain't no time that you spend extra time with them or want to get them uh, extra cute or anything or like that any other time, right? Any other time you out here and these kids is a mess, you doing your own thing and you ain't focusing on them, honey. You too busy running on the treadmill. You too busy outside doing squats. I'm almost wondering in them shorts when she's outside doing them squats, what the hell's us the neighbors thinking? Y'all. If I was Jasmine's neighbors and I was driving by and you seen her out there doing that shit and filming it, I would be like, here goes the property value. <laughs> here goes our neighborhood. What's she out here doing? I can't figure it out. The thing about it is, Jasmine, you could have been out here trying to show you were a boss, right? You made videos saying you made 20K, but then you sitting over there looking sad, got clothes hanging off of you in one video. Then you want to sit down and have a heart to heart moment with your con uh what did you say with your, I want to have a heart to heart conversation with my subscribers. The negativity is getting to me. I had to take a break. It's not about what someone's saying. It's about that there's numerous people saying it. You know, every time she makes a vlog, she has to sit down somewhere and come up with this moment that she has to explain that she feels she's being bullied, that she feels that she's being portrayed in the wrong light, that everybody is lying on her. At some point in time, honey, can't everybody have the same story? That's what Jasmine does not realize. Can't everybody have the same exact story about you, girl? And then you try and say, oh, well, everybody's lying. No, no. The stories match up. The thing about it is still I'm wondering where is Chris? He is still nowhere to be seen. He is still nowhere to be heard. Girl, you was outside running looking for him. When she was on that treadmill, I'm like, look at her getting her strength up. She about to go run after Chris. I will say one thing. See, Jasmine, the drama was bringing you views, right? And see, that's something that y'all need. That's the money y'all need. It was bringing you views. Ever since she's dropping all these boring videos, I mean... Come on, what the views looking like? The views are sucking. I don't even know how this girl gets sponsorships. Even though you got 53,000 people, if you go and put on a Bumpy Johnson wig, only not even 2,000 people are watching that. Like, for real? So we know ain't nobody buying that wig that you put on. These sponsors are really losing money investing in Jasmine. And I ain't here to be no hater. I just got to say the truth. Because, honey, them views are looking real suspect and real stanky, okay? Because... Nobody cares, Jasmine. You said if you left the internet, oh, they're going to be peeping in your windows, driving in your bushes, uh, sleeping in your driveway. Honey, doesn't, don't you see that when you drop your regular content that nobody cares? So if you didn't drop content, nobody would care? Didn't you, do you notice that? But don't let me get messy, y'all. 
Don't let me get super messy. I just wanted to check in with old Bumpy Johnson over there and let her know, honey, you put that red wig on and you've been a shade throwing sister ever since then. And when Olivia finally decides to pick it up, if she ever does, because like I said, I think they have an agreement behind scene. I think something has went down. I think Olivia may be a little bit scared of Philip or something. Y'all will have to tell me because, baby, I am lost in translation. I will see you guys down in the comments, honey, and we will talk about Bumpy Johnson there. See you later.